Exercise 1010 is giving you several alkynes and asking you what happens when you treat those alkynes with solid sodium in liquid ammonia. That's the recipe for dissolving metal reduction. And so it turns an alkyne into an al a trans alkene. And we, we drew, I made, drew the, the mechanism for that in a previous video. So if you're interested in how this is happening, I would encourage you to see that previous video. But for now, just from the perspective of synthesis, from the perspective of putting this all this stuff in an oven, what pops out when the bat, when the uh, the when the when the <laughs> dinger rings? Um, it's going to be a transalkene. So one thing you might do just to keep, help keep track of stuff is to number the carbons. Now you can number them however you want. This is not numbering them to name it. It's just numbering it to keep track of stuff. And instead of the triple bond, you could make a double bond. And if it helps, you can carry those numbers over. That will still be between carbons two and three. Now we know that it's gonna be trans. So we could put this one carbon at the end, <clears throat> either going up or down. I'm gonna put it going up. The first one you put doesn't matter, but whichever way you put the first branch coming off of the double bond, the other branch coming off of the double bond has to be going in the opposite direction. So if I have this going up, this other branch is going to have to be going down. <clears throat> Excuse me, now here we need three more carbons, carbons four, five, and six. We need those coming off of this carbon here. And I'm gonna make it going down. So that's four, five, and six. So notice here we have one, and then four, five, and six. Notice how that if you draw a, a line down the long end of the double bond, the carbon chains are on opposite sides of that line. And that helps to confirm that this is trans. And so if you treat that alkyne with sodium metal in liquid ammonia, what you'll get is this transalkene here. It would be trans 2 hexene. So if you have 2 hexine and you treat it with sodium and liquid ammonia, you get trans 2 hexene. All right, let's try it with this one. Same sort of procedure. Let's try just drawing the triple bond as a double bond first. And then let's think a little carefully about what's gonna be coming off of that. Now we know we're treating this with sodium and liquid ammonia, so we're gonna be getting a transalkene. So whatever else happens, we know that one branch has to be going up, the other has to be going down. Okay, what else needs to be on there? Well, if this is carbon number one, that would be like this. And so I need two methyl branches coming off of that one carbon. So here's a methyl branch, there's a methyl branch. That whole thing is this group. Okay. On the other side, oops, on the other side, we have our one carbon drawn here. And now what we can do is we can sort of put a two and a three and then have two branches, two methyl branches coming off of the two. So if we have two and three, you can see you'd have these two methyl branches coming off of the two. And so there you have it. That is your, <clears throat> that is your transalkene. <clears throat> so if you treat this alkyne with sodium in liquid ammonia, it will turn into this trans alkene. With C, <clears throat> again, they're asking us what, what would happen to this if you dunked it in some liquid ammonia that had solid sodium in it. And we have an alkyne, it's gonna turn that alkyne into a trans alkene. So we can start with that. We can take the triple bond and draw it just as a double bond. And we know that whatever else happens, we're gonna have a branch going up in one direction and down in the other, so that it's trans. They're, so that they're, the two branches coming off of the alkene are going in opposite directions. Okay, well, now let's make sure we have the right type of branch, because this is an incorrect answer as it is right now. We have to fill in all of the carbons. Those are really important parts of this. 
So we have one carbon here, one carbon here, so we're good on that side. <clears throat> Excuse me, on the other side, this carbon, this first carbon attached to what was the triple bond, should be a carbon in a five-membered ring. So we can redraw that five-membered ring. And so there you have it. That is your transalkene. If you draw the dotted or a dotted line or aligned on the long end of the double bond, you'll see that these branches are going in opposite directions. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so this is the, the trans product you'd get if you dunked this thing into liquid ammonia that had solid sodium in it. Okay, with D, same process. We're going to be treating this with, uh, as they gave in the original instructions, with sodium and liquid ammonia. And that's the recipe for dissolving metal reduction that turns an alkyne into a trans alkene. So here, when you treat this with sodium and liquid ammonia, let's take this triple bond, we'll turn that into a double bond. And we know whatever else, the branches have to be going in opposite directions, trans, to each other. So now we have to make sure that the carbon branches are the same branches as in the original structure. So here, that one carbon, that first carbon you run into, should be a carbon in a four-membered ring. So here, that would work like that. And if you go on the other side, you actually see the same thing. So the first carbon you run over here should be a carbon in a four-membered ring. And so that's your answer. You would end up getting this transalkene when you treat this alkyne with sodium and liquid ammonia. And that is some practice with doing dissolving metal reduction.